What the hell? Y'all, I'm back. Uh, have you guys noticed the change of scenery? I'm in college. Woo! Oppression, capitalism. Don't we love to see it? Charging students for an education. Charging students an arm and a leg for an education they're trying to get so they can make more money. Expecting them to make that money back, even though you're charging them all that money in the first place. Like, I just don't get it. Child, anyways. I'm in college, so I'm just gonna talk about college life and spiritually what's been going on with me and everything, right? So college life is pretty okay. I've been getting settled in, you know what I mean? Thank God. Thank the heaven. Hold on. Let's thank this, uh, high, not high school, let's thank college for um, freshman orientation. I do believe freshman weekend orientation was definitely a big help. I don't think I would have made as many friends if I hadn't gone to this freshman weekend orientation, which is basically a weekend where all the freshmen gather together. The upperclassmen aren't here yet. So it's just like a certain amount of upperclassmen to help the freshmen in groups or whatever and basically you know what i mean it's just a whole bunch of freshmen doing challenges and shit and being in groups and getting close to each other i realized i ended up realizing in the middle that this was kind of like meant for freshmen to kind of get a head start on a social life make sure everybody has friends and even if you're like you know what i mean even if you are an introvert you at least know some people in case you do want to hang out or whatever or you need something someone to talk to or whatever so it is pretty smart idea right so yeah i didn't like it at first but now i like it looking back on it because it did help me a lot so yeah so far i'm gonna be real with you guys college has been going much better than high school like honestly i felt like with high school i just didn't fit in um you know what i'm saying i just really felt like i just didn't fit in like i don't know um my ends are straight because i straightened them because they were in braids y'all this is a braid out <laughs> my hair is not that damaged um but yeah like so far my social life everything's going good like i said much better than high school for me i just felt like high school i just really kind of didn't fit in so Oh my God, this girl texting me. I don't know if I want to hang out with her or not. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I want to hang out with her. But yeah, like you see, I have a social life. Um, everything's going cool. I mean, I like the friends that I have now. Something, I don't know. I don't know. I like them. They're pretty cool. That's one thing I'll say. I just feel like sometimes I'll just be expecting some shit to go wrong. So like, I just be, you know. I be on my P's and Q's sometimes because I just, you never know. Some people could turn their back on you. What did Cardi B say? I can't fuck with you today. You might wish me dead tomorrow. Okay. So, yeah, social life is going great. I have one. Oh, y'all, I we have to check some girls because I'm friends with this one girl. And, um yeah like low-key we had to check these girls because they were spreading rumors they was gossiping basically doing too much these and i'm talking about these group of girls specifically they are for the football team they are for everybody they are fanned out they are fiends and so you know i mainly because they checked them i don't know my other friends checked the problems friends but I came to the source, baby. I checked her and I was like, so what's the issue? Like, what's going on? And then she had this other friend on the side. Nobody knows who the fuck she is talking about some, oh, I don't know you. I don't know you. Why are you? I don't know you. Nobody was talking to you. I'm confused on how she even, like, looking back on it. I'm confused on how she even inserted herself in the conversation because I don't know you. This has nothing to do with you. Nobody's worried about you. We're talking about a whole nother situation. I'm coming at her because she's spreading rumors and shit. And yeah, like these girls, they're taking the shit like we're in fucking high school. But don't worry, y'all. I wasn't intending to fight. I wasn't intending to fight. 
because I mean like I just I call it nipping shit in the bud okay where I'm from in New York we call it pressing somebody like I pressed you because why are you continuously spreading rumors like for what we don't you have assignments to do don't you got a uh, shit for your classes to do don't you got a, a fucking 500 word essay to write Like, I'm confused. Why are you acting like, like, why are you spreading rumors? Like, don't you got better things to do? Like, some some girls in this college really don't have anything better to do, is what I realized. But you, I, I had to check a bitch. Don't worry, y'all. Nothing happened. I did not fight. I'm not, because this is my career that's on the line, and I'm not about to jeopardize my future for a bunch of girls who will do anything for male attention, y'all. Do not worry. I will never do that. They are not that important. You know what I mean? My friend can handle her business on her own. But yeah, social life has been pretty good. Love life, I'm not going to hold you. The people that I'm friends with, a lot of the football guys have been coming and, you know, basically trying to get at them. Me, on the other hand, I've just been chilling on my dolly. If you're not from New York, I've been basically chilling by myself there's been a couple guys that's trying to get at me but y'all know if y'all don't know me i'm very picky i know it doesn't seem like it but i'm very picky with the niggas i choose to call or like choose to talk to so it's like <laughs> like i don't know i don't know so i've kind of been trying to make a very wise option and then it's like i'm also not trying to get locked down because let's be for real i'm a freshman in college like who's locking themselves down freshman year like be for real that's like having a relationship in in high school and expecting that shit to last in college like it's bound to is i'm just saying like you know what i mean that shit's bound to go to go to the the trash bin but yeah so anyways there's this guy that i've i don't even want to say talking to like getting to know whatever whatever and i mean he's pretty all right he just he has hoes and he's a liar. So I'm about to tell him about himself. And there's something I learned about him, but I'm not going to share that on social media because I don't want to jinx it. But there is something that I've learned about our connection. And it's like the way he moving, it's not giving what I was told it was supposed to be giving. So I'm going to tell him about himself today. And I'm literally going to like, distance like kind of cut him off because i see where this is going and i've been through this many times before you fucking would have listen i'm in an area where a lot of people from philly and i'm not talking about temple a lot of people from philly are from you know what i mean so it's like i don't know about these philly niggas but i one one in my opinion philly niggas are corny i don't care i said what i said philly niggas are corny because it's like when you when, once you dealt with a new york nigga you already know the game like because one thing about new york nigga they're going to play the fuck out of a girl like they're gonna play the fuck out of you let me fix this one yeah they're gonna play the fuck out of you so it's like i've already been there done that It's like, I'm really trying to work on my self-esteem and my confidence this year. So it's like, bro, I've already been there, done that. Like, I'm going to just be very honest with you. So it's like, I already know the game. I already know what it is. I, know, I already know what the deal is. I know what it is. I'm not stupid. I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. I've been there, done that. If y'all don't know my story about me and Dookie, uh, go way back till I talk about the guy that cheated on me with my cousin yeah i know but like i'm i don't i'm not happy that i had to go through what i had to go through with dookie but i'm glad that i could at least take something from that experience that experience taught me a lot when i came into that experience i had not had an actual boyfriend before and i'm being dead ass like not even on some oh i don't claim any of my ex like no i actually haven't had a boyfriend before at that time you know what i mean so a lot of things were new to me i didn't know a lot of shit how guys act i was dealing with an emotionally unavailable guy at that and i'm like 
literally the complete opposite. So it's like, I already know the game. You cannot, you cannot trick me. You, you cannot trick me. So it's like, I already know the game and you're trying to play me. And that's what I'm getting mad at because I don't care if he's talking to other girls, he's exploring his options. I don't care. We're not dating. You're not my man. I'm not tied down. I'm doing the same thing, but stop acting like you're trying to, like, stop trying to play me. You know what I mean? Like, you, try, like he hiding something from me. There's nothing you can hide, sir. He keep playing with me. He don't know. I'm a psychic ass bitch. I'm not a hoe. Like, I'm damn near psychic. Like, I could tell. Let me tell y'all, there was this one moment where we accidentally met him up at one of the seniors' buildings, and he walked in with two other girls and a bag of food. And mind you, they were on their way up to the elevator to go into one of the dorms. Where are you going with these girls? But you want me to be locked down. Like, and mind you, y'all, he's doing shit like checking my phone. He's checking my phone, doing all this extra shit, and it's pissing me off because it's like, first of all, how insecure do you have to be to check my phone and we're not even together? And then it's like, I told him verbatim, like, bro, I'm I'm chilling by myself right now. Like, I'm on my dolly right now. Like, I'm not talking to nobody. I don't have any hoes. I told him this numerous times. If you don't want to believe me, that's you. That's up to you and God, okay? I don't care. If you don't want to believe me, that's on you and your spirit. I You don't have to believe me. I believe myself. You know what I mean? I'm really not talking to nobody. I'm chilling by myself right now. I'm single. I'm single. Like, you know? And it's like, you trying to catch me doing something and it's pissing me off because we're not in a relationship and that's toxic as fuck. Even if we were in a relationship. So, I don't know, y'all. I don't know, though. What do y'all feel about him? Like, what do y'all think? I'm, trust me, I'm not going to keep talking to this guy. The way he's moving, and then he's giving me, like, false promises, saying shit, and then, like, actions are not adding up to the words. And I hate, one thing about me, you should know, I hate. Oh, shit, I left this out. <laughs> I hate false promises, you guys. Like, I promise promise you i hate it with a passion bro like be for real bro be honest let's just be honest let's just be real like be honest and be fucking for real like you know what i mean and i told him numerous times like if you have something in your phone if you're talking to a girl i don't care we're not dating i don't care just be for real like or you don't even have to be honest with me just stop acting like you hiding something. Like, it's pissing me off. He grabbed my phone. He checked my phone. So I try to do the same. I'm not grabbing his phone because I really, really want to find something for real. I'm grabbing his phone because you're grabbing my phone. You know what I mean? It's all about reciprocated energy over here, baby. Welcome to fucking, fucking with a Gemini. Y'all, he's a Pisces. I don't know if y'all heard me say this. I don't like Pisces at all. Well, Pisces woman. Some Pisces men, too, I ran into as well i just i don't really care for pisces men but i really don't like pisces women like, i don't know something about pisces just pissed me off so but yeah he's a pisces and then it's like yeah like, i'm not like i'm not about to get i'm not about to let a pisces fucking you know what i mean like finesse me so i'm gonna just have to tell him they like look I don't know what you been told. Bitch, your man's know if you don't. What's I learn at? I hope YouTube doesn't copyright strike me for that because they've been on ass lately. But I'm about to pull this back. Yeah, that's just what's been going on. Um, And if that doesn't work out, I have a guy in my class that I kind of, you know, that's kind of been looking at me anyway, so. I'm not feeling to talk to boys though, y'all. Like that's what's really tea. I'm not feeling to talk to guys. I'm not searching for a connection right now. It's just whatever happens, happens. Whoever comes, comes. And whoever goes, goes. I truly and honestly do not care. But let's talk about spirituality since all of that's out the way. You know, that little drama with the girls, my friends. Uh, girl, I've been, I've been on that ganja lately. Yeah, 
yeah, y'all. That's what's really tea. I've been on that ganja burn, ganja burn. Eh. Ganja burn, ganja burn. Yeah, baby. I've been smoking ganja. <laughs> it's not good at all, y'all. Actually, you know what? I should do my hair for real. Actually, no. Let me find the outfit first. So, yeah. I've been smoking ganja, bro. And I'm not proud of myself because I've been doing it frequently. And I've really been doing it frequently because of the people I surround myself with. But I'm going to have to tone it down. Spiritually, though, I've been feeling... Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you like there's moments and times where I don't really feel in tune with my spiritual self and I'm going through that time right now like I just don't feel like in tune with my spiritual like I can't explain it I can't explain it y'all let me see I can't explain it but I just don't feel like I'm I'm tapped in right now like I'm tapped out you know I'm very superficial right now very surface level very much ego right now I'm still like I still have good um I will always have good intuition but it's like right now I'm not in like spiritual survival like I haven't been doing meditation I haven't been lighting incense lighting incense always helps me out I haven't been lighting a candle I haven't been I haven't taken a bath you know I don't really feel I don't have incense like incense is one thing that always makes me feel like I'm tapped in and I'm not tapped in right now so but I still have like my one little crystal with me and I have I bought incense from a smoke shop so you know hopefully that makes everything better but yeah sorry y'all i zone out but yeah um spiritually though um my intuition is still a one you know what i mean because clearly it's trying to play me like clearly people are trying to play me for boo boo the fucking fool like you hanging out like like i said i caught him in the hallway with two girls and it was one girl specifically she was light-skinned her hair was down she did not look I'm not trying to come for a girl's looks because me right now, but she definitely wasn't like giving baddie. It wasn't giving really much of anything because it wasn't memorable. I didn't really remember her face. All I remember is that it was average as hell. So like anyways, but this girl, and y'all are gonna tell me right now, am I tripping or was she trying to be funny, right? He came out the freaking, um, when he came out, Right, mind you, this dude, bro, this dude, bro, like, the way his face looked, you would have thought he got caught cheating. Me and this guy are not in a relationship. I was calling him friend for the longest, even though I kind of found out, like, a little recently that he did not want to be my friend. He wanted to be something else. Baby girl, I didn't know that, but, like... I've been calling him friend for the longest, so it's like, you know, I don't really care, but he looked so guilty, like he got caught doing something he shouldn't, right? And so he comes over to me and we start talking, I'm like, oh, what are you doing here? Like, oh, and mind you, he was been telling me like, oh yeah, I have some friends at, so there's basically different dorms, right? I'm in the freshman dorm right now. There's three freshman dorms and there's like three senior dorms, right? We were in one of the senior dorms getting at ganja. <laughs> getting at ganja, bro. Speaking of it, literally this whole incident happened because I was going to get that ganja from the seller in the freshman dorm, right? So we're going to call the freshman dorm Mountain. We're going to call it Mountain Hill. So I'm like, what are you doing at Mountain Hill? Because I don't know why we here. What are you doing here with these girls? Mind you, he told me previously that he had some quote unquote friends at Mountain Hill. So I'm like, oh, what are you doing at Mountain Hill? I'm like, oh, so these are the friends that you said you had at Mountain Hill. He was like, yeah. I'm like, okay, so what y'all gonna do? He's like, oh, nothing. Like some bullshit, like just chilling or whatever. Like, you know how niggas be saying. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's real cool. Chilling, chilling with two girls. 
And so literally mid conversation, this disrespectful ass gonna sit there and talk about some, oh, um, fuck, what are we gonna call this dude? He has like an already generic name and it's too generic to the point where you would know who this guy is if you searched him up. We're gonna call him We're gonna call him uh, Rama. We're gonna call him Rama. You know that uh, that African singer because he is African and he reminds me of him. So we're gonna call him Rama, right? So she's like, Rama. She's like, Remy, Rama. I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, y'all. But she's like, Rama, are you gonna stand over there? Are you gonna come in the elevator with us? Cause mind you, as he's sitting there coming to me, having a conversation, she goes and she dings the elevator door, right? So I'm like, what the hell? So I'm like, okay, um, that's strange. That's weird. Like, whatever, right? So she's calling him, right? She's like, Rema, are you going to sit there and talk or are you going to come up here with us? Bro, if y'all would have saw, because going to college, I don't know what it is about college right now, but so far being in college has made me a lot more bold so if y'all would have saw the look that i gave this hoe i was like and what really pissed me off and i know some people are probably gonna think oh you getting like this over a, a, a man a guy that you're not even dating it's not about a man it's about respect it's about principle i literally looked at her like this dead ass in her face like bitch so he's he so he started asking me like oh you you want me to stay with you or you want me to go over with them why does it have to be you pick a side I, like i was he was like yeah you want me to stay with you or you, or you know you want me to leave with them and i'm like you know what just go like i'm not gonna make you stay the fuck you wasn't planning on fucking staying anyways so he goes up in the elevator right and mind you i'm already lit so it's like not lit like lit i'm lit so it's like bro i'm kind of pissed off now because it's like who does miss girl think she is like that was disrespectful as fuck it was almost like i was getting checked by the main bitch like it was giving side girl gets checked by the main so i'm just like oh hell no nah, right and so my friends we start talking about it and at first you know of course they think i'm tripping bro and let me tell y'all this is why I don't share certain things automatically. Hold on. What the hell is this? Okay, whatever. So this is why I don't share certain things when I automatically get like that intuition feeling that intuitive feeling because a lot of people will think i'm tripping at first and then there's like a moment where everybody always realizes yeah you were right so i'm ch i'm chilling i'm sitting and i'm thinking about it and i'm like no something about her i don't like like something didn't sit well with me it was given she was trying to check me like so i got pissed off and so i'm telling them and they're like oh, i don't know like you know like i don't know and they keep thinking about it from the perspective of like oh you know well y'all aren't dating and i'm like bro it's not about fucking remy we just want to call him remy we're not gonna call him Rema. i feel like it will also be offensive because just because i think he's African, but like yeah we're gonna call him remy so and it's easier for me to say so they're like so um one of my friends is like but y'all aren't even dating and i'm like bro it's not about dating or not this is his mind you this is the second person that's been around him that's been rude and disrespectful to me bro like he had one other guy friend that basically was being very like kind of aggressive and staring at my boobs the entire time we were having a conversation and i mean i like it so so far y'all this has been like the second person he's been around to be kind of disrespectful. So it was pissing me off the more I thought about it. Now I'm telling him like, no, y'all, I'm sitting there having a conversation. Miss fucking I love Lucy having ass bitch sitting there like talking like, who are you like to interrupt a conversation? 
don't you see two people talking? So as I'm explaining to them why I feel like it was disrespectful, bro, they're, you know, they gas me up. They're like, oh, yeah, you know what you right, you right, like call him right now. So I call him and I tell him everything. I'm like, bro, I felt like it was just really disrespectful. Like she didn't have to be like that. Like, yo, check your friend, like check your friend. Cause you know, I ain't the Sarah I used to be and I will check a bitch. So he's like, nah, like just chill. He's like, okay. He's not like, nah, but he's just like, okay. Like I get it. Like whatever, whatever, right? And so I'm like, also oh, those are the two friends that she was talking about from Mountain Hill, right? He's like, yeah. And there's another guy. Now, y'all, keep in mind, keep in mind, I said, and he fucked up when he told me this, keep in mind, what did I say he walked in with when he came out the door, when he came out the doorway? I said there was two girls and one of them I didn't like. So there's two girls. Then we have himself, a male, and then he says, oh yeah, and there's another guy. What does that sound like to you? What does that sound like to you? What does that sound like to you? Two girls and two guys. What does that sound like to you? A two man. So I automatically said, oh, so you, so it's a two man, right? Y'all. And mind you, again, keep in mind, I'm still lit. So I'm not really in my right, right mind. But he's like, yeah, there's two girls and there's two guys. Oh, so it's a two man. So y'all ready? Y'all came up in there with food. Y'all about to chill, Netflix and chill and suck and chill. So, <laughs> bro. So I'm like, yeah, I don't like friend. Like, I'm not gonna hold you. My friends was telling me to say some shit too. They was like, oh, yeah, telling me on like friendly niggas, which is true. I don't. But I was like, yeah, I don't like friendly niggas. Like, you don't have to check that bitch. Like, check that bitch before I do. Mind you, he's trying to be. He's quiet as shit. He's not talking at all. And he's like, it's like he's trying to hide from something, bro. So he's like, oh, okay, whatever. And then he, so I'm like, you hear me? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay. And then he hangs up the phone. Y'all, come to find out, why was this dude hiding in the bathroom talking to me? Yeah, mind you, we're not dating, but it's like, stop acting like you have something to hide. It's pissing me off because I don't care if you're talking to a girl. Just keep it a buck and stop pursuing me like you are trying to be, you know, whatever, whatever. When it's like, you're really just trying to like, hold on to your cards. You're not trying to let all your cards out on the table. And I don't have time for that. So, yeah, like, I'm just sitting on like, bro. And I just, I told him after that, I kept telling him, like, bro, if you got hoes, I truly don't care. That's up to you and you. Just don't be real about it. You know what I mean? Be fucking for real. He's a Pisces, bro. Had this been a Scorpio, a Scorpio would have probably related to me that they had hoes. And I would have appreciated that fact. Like, y'all, I don't care, bro. Every time I talk about a nigga lying about having hoes, Y'all are going to hear me bring up the fact that Scorpios will tell the truth because that's something I can appreciate. Like, just be fucking for real. So at least we both out here hoeing and thugging. You know what I mean? Not you trying to tie me down. And you know what I mean? Like, why go through all the hassle when you could just be for real about it from the jump? So, child, anyways. And then I just, I just had a whole, like, reading on YouTube and it just confirmed to me a lot of shit. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to distance myself from this guy. Like, I already see where this is going. And I don't know if this is a test from God to see if I really learned my lesson from these fucking ain't crap boys, a.k.a. all the Leos I fucked with in the past. So I don't know if this is a test from God, but if so, then I passed because I've been getting a feeling like, oh, yeah, you be messing around. And then it's like, mind you, right? He on Instagram or whatever, right? This was around the time, like, we was hanging out together at nighttime. You know, we ain't had shit to do. He was studying or whatever. And while he was studying, I was massaging his head, y'all. So I'm slick with it. His phone is still open on Instagram. He don't know that. So as his head is down and I'm massaging his head, I slick go on his phone. I, um, what you gonna call it? I, I go to the Instagram. I go to the DMs. I don't even look. I don't tap a single DM to see what's in it. All I do is scroll down and all those DMs straight. I don't even want to say this word, but I'm saying it because I'm mad. Straight 
females in that bitch. Ain't no male in sight. Ain't no boy. Ain't no man. It's probably like one or two men, one or two boys in his entire DM. But as a whole, straight girls, all he follows, straight girls, I'm like, yeah, you're a hoe. And that's all I'm at. <laughs> I say, yeah, you're a hoe. Like, I'm not I'm not feeling it. I've already been through this, bro. Like, once you mess with a New York man, bro, <laughs> like, you cannot trick me. You cannot trick me. So I'm like, yeah, I'm, I see where this is going. And then it's like, we're at that awkward stage now where it's like, we're not together. Like, even my friends say that we're together, but I keep telling them we're not together because he had not taken me out on a date yet. So we're not together but he's trying to tie me down and all that nonsense and i'm just not feeling it so and then there's like this one boy in my class who i could tell you know these girl tell me she feeling it how you feeling how you feeling so he clearly feeling me and i'm about to take him up on the offer like i can tell when a guy likes me it's very easy to tell but he clearly feeling me so shit, i might have to go pop on that real quick you know what I mean? Fuck out of here. Like, you ain't the only one. He keep playing with me. He don't know. I ain't no scary ass. I'm a hoe. You know it. Like, what? Stop playing with me. Like, I'm not afraid to explore my options either. You ain't the only one, sir. You definitely. If you thought you were the only one, you tripping. But, anywho, y'all, it's a Thursday, so I'm about to go to the gym. That's what I've been doing lately. Go to the gym on my days off. Um, studying. And I just feel like I need more time to myself, period. So it's like, it's good that I'm kind of like, oh, look at my plants, y'all. That I'm distancing myself from him. But that's just what's been going on, y'all. Not really like a whole bunch of drama, but kind of. And yeah, spiritually, I'm going to try to get more in tune with myself. I do feel like, y'all, I'm about to literally write about this. I feel like weed does help. It's not good to smoke it all the time, I will admit but i do feel like weed makes me let go of my ego i feel like once you smoke weed your ego is let go and you're just with whatever raw part is left in you so i just become a lot more rawer when i you know but that's basically the end of my video i'm literally about to go to the gym right after this and i'll see y'all on the next one peace